Good morning, traders. It is almost 6.30 here on Friday, November 20th. I got up late this morning and uh, it ended up costing me a little bit of money because uh, the top gainer on the list, when I got up, and it probably was around 4 a.m. too, was TTNP, which is a penny stock. So uh, I put that on my list. And you can see here, around uh, 4 a.m. it was selling off a little bit but it had tons of volume and then here's the first green candle and it breaks the high of this candle that would have been one possible entry for me had tons of volume in that candle 16,000 shares which is a lot at 4 a.m. and uh, it made a like a one cent move here right or maybe more was it 22 cents up to 25 cents so like not like a three cent move so that whole move is worth a dollar at a at the minimum shares that you can buy which is 100 shares so that would have been um a, a pretty nice gain and uh wait am i doing that right 25 i'm sorry did i say a dollar three dollars <laughs> because uh three cents times 100 shares so not to say that i would have gotten all three of those dollars i probably would have scaled out um but I probably, you know, uh, see if I would have sold half, let's say like here, 24 cents, that uh, we're at 22 and a half. So that's like a, let's say a dollar fifty, so about 75 cents there, you know. And then I would say I would get at least a dollar, if not more, uh, out of that whole move. Um, and then the thing continued to kind of uh, pull back and and run up and then it had its biggest run here but there's no way to to uh, know when that's going to happen but i would have just probably just traded that move there um so then it proceeded to make a new high of 30 cents and and did some pullbacks and when i got um, in front of my computer it was it was right here doing this run so uh, I have it on video here. So just notice this area because you're going to see this right at the beginning of the video. There it is right there. So I saw that run up and uh, I'm waiting for the pullback to take an entry because this looks like an ABCD setup. But um, the only thing, you know, I'm not too happy that I took this trade. Um, probably be saying something different if it was a winner. <laughs> but um the, the thing is is that the, the big move already happened and one of my edges is in these types of trades is getting in super duper early like like I was showing you guys because um, if you get at the beginning of the move there's a lot less selling pressure and a lot more buying pressure that forces the price up and that had already happened so I'm like trying to get sloppy seconds here basically doesn't mean you know you can't make money doing that but it's a lot harder and you could you'll see what happened here so this is the pullback I'm looking for and I had this this level marked out here about 27 cents it was a 50% pullback which is pretty much ideal for these types of patterns and since these candles were pretty big I also entered in a little bit early here because I'm supposed to enter for the break of a one minute candle. But um, since this was like a whole one cent, that's a dollar right there at a hundred shares. I thought maybe I'll get in, you know, at the uh, support level and write it back up, which isn't really part of my plan. But um, so I, I think I got in like right here anticipating that it, it's going to continue forward. Again, not really part of my plan. It bounces around. So I got 100 shares at uh, 27.5 cents. Now it comes back up to my entry. Now there, it popped up almost a, a half a cent, which is 50 cents at 100 shares if I sold all, right? But I'm trying to scale out. So watch this. I, I hesitated there um, because watch how long it was up there at that 27. I actually took my fingers off the keyboard right after I got in, which was stupid. 
because when you're scalping, sometimes the moves happen really fast and you got to be ready to get out or to take half your shares in a split second. So watch this. I have my fingers off the keyboard here. Okay, so there I see that, but my fingers are off the keyboard. Then I put them back on and I hit sell half, and guess what? I missed the move. It came right back down to my entry, and I got filled exactly at my entry. So that was like a nothing trade, uh, except for it cost me two cents. And there, I, w I was mad now. <laughs> the emotions were kicking in, and uh, it popped up a little bit again. And I thought, I'm going to get you this time, and then look what happened. <laughs> it popped right back down to my entry again. And uh, after that, guess what? I'm even more mad. <laughs> and then I do it again. I mean, this is like a joke. It kept coming back down to my entry. I've done this quite a few times, and it usually works out pretty well. Um, you know, and this, but again, you know, there, there are things that were already stacked against me in this trade because, like I said, I was, I already missed the first big move. So um, this one is less likely to work out already. So, uh, you know, I kind of deserve all this mess. <clears throat> I think it pops up like one more time and, and then it's really stupidly, like what I should have done at this point, look at <laughs> then again, <laughs> it's, it's like, it knows what I'm trying to do. Um, there was probably some hesitation on that one too. All right, so uh, let's see. I'm just trying to see where the last one was. I think I just said, screw this. I'm going to get out of here because, you know, it is what it is. Now, I think at that point I had only, um, I think I showed it. Yeah, so here's the stock that I was trading. This is not a trade. That's just something I'm holding long term. This was a TTNP, so I was down eight cents on that, and that's um, mostly due to all the sell orders because I probably had at least four sell orders, and they're two cents each, so it adds up to eight cents. Um, it's not from the trades because it was never below my entry when I hit the sell. <clears throat> so then, um, let's see. Now I probably should have just called it a morning at that point. But then I thought, well, you know, um, maybe it was just my, uh, you know, I kind of felt like I got screwed a little bit on that. Let me see, is this the right video? Yeah. I kind of felt like I got screwed a little bit on that move. Huh, where? Oh, never mind. I'm sorry, this is the wrong video. Must be this one back here. Yeah. Oh. Sorry about that. Here we go. All right. So now I'm thinking, you know, maybe there was just more of a dip to be had. You know, don't, none of this is good at this point. Just don't do this. You, you, you took a shot at a uh, at a less than ideal trade already because the big move already happened and it failed, and now you're gonna go back in and try to somehow, you know, get make it work or something. So, uh, so here here was my entry. It was for the break of this candle. Which that in and of itself is okay, but you know, like I said, everything else leading up to it was stupid, and you know, and I was definitely a little pissed about you know, well, first of all, taking that previous trade and then the way it played out, so that's emotions, and now I'm, so basically I'm trading on emotion here, and then look, same thing pops up, and um, I I can't remember if there was some hesitation there or not. Let's see. And uh, that wasn't the fastest trigger on my part. I just wanted to see where those things popped up. 
Oh, they didn't show this time. Hmm. They usually show like all the buttons on the screen pop up when I hit my cell. So it's doing it again to me, <laughs> which, you know, I mean, it's my fault for even being in this trade. Uh, I tried to sell half at that first pop and uh, I got filled right above, oh no, right at my entry. And now um, I did it again and I get filled just uh, what two hundredths of a cent above my entry that doesn't do anything which that one I feel like it should have sold it higher but it doesn't matter this is there I get finally uh, filled right around that 27 cent mark that was not a good good one there that was one tenth So now I just have so few shares, it doesn't really make a difference that, you know, um, if I would have sold all up here, I would have been probably like 75 cent gain, but, but, uh, you know, I just got chopped around there. Um, I don't think I really honestly had a good plan going into this. I mean, first of all, like I said, so many things were stacked against me and I, I, I was up late and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, this is what happens when you uh, take, you know, less than ideal setups, and uh, even the ideal setups fail, right? So why would you take less than ideal? <laughs> and that's what I did. So it amounted now um, altogether a twelve cent loss, which is not a big loss, but it's a loss I didn't have to take. Um, there it is, right there. Again, these are not day trades. This is the only day trade that I took was on this TTNP, and that's the two trades. And uh, altogether, those trades were about $50. So the loss, you know, versus the uh, cost is small, um, but it still cost me a lot to take those trades for my account size. That's like one quarter of my total day trading account. Um, and now I just have like 60 bucks left in there. So. I don't know if I'm going to take any trades later. Just based on the way the pre-market looks, it doesn't look... I mean, there could be something really good that pops up later, but uh, I'm debating because there's not a lot of volume. At this time, for there to only be four stocks trading above 100,000 shares, that's, that's kind of light volume in the market. Um, so anyway... Then, uh, yeah, so, so my, I'm already in the red for today, 12 cents. Um, and my week is now back in the red. It's mostly due, again, I've talked about this in previous videos, mostly due to these two trades here. One which is not and was not part of my plan. So um, that's really a loss I shouldn't have had to take or taken. And f frankly, even today it was a loss I shouldn't have taken. Um, so that one might need to be yellow as well because it doesn't really fit my plan um and then this one did fit my plan at the time but i've adjusted it because i, I saw an error you know something that i didn't notice um that now is part of my plan to keep me out of a trade like that so so i really think this should have been a green week and um, maybe i'm just lucky it's it's a very small red week um, but I'm really, you know, right now I'm just trying to uh, to prove the plan and prove the strategy. So I'm not looking at dollar signs. I'm just looking at red versus green. And uh, unfortunately, I kind of screwed up. You know, I myself messed up the uh, trading this week more so than the plan did. So I still think the plan is good and strong. And I just need to trade it more precisely. So anyway, um, and I, you know what I should probably do is if I miss the 4 a.m. moves is, uh, you know, make a rule, add a rule to my uh, strategy that says <clears throat> if I miss the 4 a.m. to just not trade in the pre-market because that's my favorite time to catch those moves is very early on. So anyway, I hope this helped you guys and, uh, Hope you guys are trading better than me today. Stick to your plan, stick to your strategy. And then even if you take a loss, you won't be too upset about it. <laughs> All right, take care.